Morning everyone, uh, just going to do a really quick video uh, which is how to power on a power over ethernet or a PoE phone uh, using uh, a PoE injector. So if you're one of my customers you may well have been given one of these uh, fairly recently so I figured I'd do a quick video on how to put it all together rather than me having to explain this to each person individually. So uh, let's get on with it. Okay, so what we've got here is a fairly standard Cisco voice over IP phone. Uh, this particular one is an SPA 504G. I had to look at that then. 504G. Um, uh, so, yes, if you've been given one of these kits, the idea is that you will unplug your desk phone and take it home. So if you're going, if you're done for the day, or you're not coming back to the office, um, you're self-isolating, whatever, grab your phone, unplug the network cable, take it home with you with this kit um, and I'm just going to show you quickly how to plug it all together. So you have a power over ethernet adapter. So this is the bit that's going to do the magic. So there's two network sockets there and there. There's a power socket there. And then on this particular one, there's an indicator light there as well. They're, they're, they might not all have that indicator light on. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there we are. Um, but most of them do. So the simple bit, the first bit. You take the UK 13 amp plug to Cloverleaf adapter and you plug it in. Make sure it's nice and secure. And you take this end and you plug it into a power supply. Now I just happen to have a spare one just there. Um, you'll now see that the indicator has lit up on there. You then take one of your cables. Now, I need to find some longer cables for customers who are waiting for me to do that. I am sort of on it. I just need to go through and find them all. Um, so, one end of this cable goes into your router. Now, my router is sort of over that way, about five meters. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to plug this into one of my network switches. That's just out of shot there. Now, in a normal network situation, you would go directly from your network switch and you would then plug into the bottom of the phone. On the bottom of this phone, there are two Cat5 network sockets. One is labelled as SW and one is labelled as PC. On this particular handset, the one closest to the stand is PC and the one furthest away is SW. Now, switch is the one that you want to connect it to. So normally, you would plug that in. The network switch does its thing, gives the system power, and turns everything on. However, at home, most of you, I'm assuming, do not have a power over Ethernet network switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the side that goes into your router. It's going to go into the PoE injector on the LAN side. So LAN goes into your LAN, into your router. We're then going to take the other cable and that goes into the one that's labelled PoE. Again, should lock in. And that one goes into the bottom of the phone again into the SW socket and that will have exactly the same effect the phone let's get, that so the, get that so the camera can see it the phone will power on a bit bright you can't actually see the display there but you can see these lights are on here uh, these ones had turned on but as part of the boot process they'll flash off again um, and your phone will start up with its previous configuration as it got it from the server at the office. So we're not going to be making any network changes whilst all of this is going on, um, but if we did then they wouldn't apply, so we'd have to do those manually, but we're not worried about that for now. That will get the phone up and running, um, and then essentially it is exactly the same as if it were sat on your desk in the office. So you can answer calls, you can transfer calls, if you have DDIs, your DDIs will come through to you, um, you know, all of that sort of stuff just, just works. Um, so yes, hopefully that gets everybody through uh, getting PoE injectors plugged in um, and I am going to be looking for longer cables. They are over there somewhere in my office 
Um, I just need to go and dig them out. They're in a big pile at the moment. Uh, cool. I'll speak to you guys uh, again soon.